Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced Tutorial. In this sub series, we are learning about the CH RDLC report and how to use Report Viewer Control. Now we are at part 3 of the sub series. In this uh, video, we will be designing the RDLC report template and we will learn about the report table control. First, we learned about the basics of uh, data source and uh, RDLC report template viewer in our previous video. Then, more, we set up data source for the project. In this video, we will be setting up our uh, RDLC template with the initial design. RDLC stands for report definition language client side r d l and c visual studio provides controls specific to report design that means once we add the rdlc report template item to our project we will be dealing with the controls those are specific to the RDLC report template design. For example, a text box will display a text element in the RDLC report template. Just like form design, you can decide the placement of the text as well as its formatting information. And an image will display an image. Likewise, there will be many control in the uh, RDLC report. So if you see, um, so if you see the report items, all the controls specific to RDLC reports are grouped under this uh, report items. You can see uh, these items are specific for the report design. Text box can display static as well as dynamic text. Line, if you want to draw line on the report. Using this line, you can draw a box or a vertical or horizontal line useful when designing the report. Table control presents a table of information. Matrix similar. You can use a rectangle, list, image, sub report, chart, all this stuff you can use in a report viewer control. In this example, we will be using the text boxes. And we will be using the tables. Then we will be using the image and then some of the formula items. Through add new item dialog. So once you right click the project using the context menu, you can access uh, add new item and then you can add RDLC report design template. So, for example, uh, in the add new item dialog, one should choose the report element in it. So, this will add RDLC report to our project. The table report item is the more frequently used reporting element. So the table report item means the this one, the table report item that's the most frequently used um, report element. The table contains two parts, header and data. You can see that here. So this will be the header portion and the header portion will be displayed only once and this will be the data portion. Say for example, uh, you are displaying the book title. The title here will appear as a header and in the data part there will be more number of 
uh, rows for the title that means uh, book title one book title two three four five likewise it will go but title will be displayed in the in the top as a header so if you go to a uh, older element i mean the uh, 2005 there will be uh, header data as well as footer but here uh, the footer was removed you will be seeing header and data so uh, report specific header and footer you can place on top of uh, this uh, table control here you can put uh, here you can put a report specific header and at the bottom you can specify report specific uh, footer all right now we will go ahead and place this uh, table control to our uh, uh, rdlc report now it's a demo time so this is our project so this is our project here i'm right clicking on the project name add new item in the na in the add new item dialog we need to add report an empty report file for creating a report using microsoft reporting technology we'll click add here here it is showing this as a report one dot rdlc i'm clicking f2 on the keyboard then uh, renaming it as rpt books title so here if you see we have our uh, rdlc you are seeing the design view now let's expand the toolbox and you will be seeing control specific to this uh, rdlc template so first we will add our uh, table here once we add the table it is asking for the data set we will name this as a data set for titles then dot data source we no need to create new why because as part of our previous video we have pups data set and i'm choosing that so in the pups data set uh, the i mean in the pups data source the available data sets are table but because that's the only table we picked when we added the data source for the project okay we will go to data source later and if you remember in the previous video we expanded the tables and placed a check mark only on the titles table that's why you are seeing only titles here so fields it is showing all the field now our table is placed here let us expand it we will go to our data source we will pick title id before that we will add one more column by default it is showing three column right insert column left or right it doesn't mean anything we will click right now because we are just starting the design now so we can place anywhere we want
So there are totally four columns. First, we will be dragging the title ID and placing it in the data section. Once you place that in the data section, here ID title ID, this will be the heading in the header that means appears only once and this will be the data element pulled from our database so this will be the static and this one will be the dynamic one now we will click here and first we will so if you want to access the entire row we have to click on the a button like stuff here this is to pick entire table this one is to pick the uh, rows for example here i am picking the header row picking the first column second column all right now i picked the first row then i'm choosing the table clicks properties we don't need to rename anything okay all this stuff uh, not required we will go to property here we will pin it I'm checking for the font. Here it is. We will choose a different font for our uh, title or uh, the table header. So Arial Black, that's what we are choosing here and font uh, size we will give it as uh, 16 italic then for a table row we will choose arial narrow and we will increase the font size to 12 since it's a narrow font we can even keep a bigger one 14 that's enough so background and foreground color we don't need to change here let's leave it as it is all right so that's the formatting stuff title id since it's a static text i am choosing it as just id or book id next we will place book name then we will take type and finally price so i'm simply dragging and dropping it when i am dropping it if you see i'm dropping it on the data section when i place the um, dynamic element into the data section the ID Visual Studio ID automatically places a title on the header part of the table and we are just uh, renaming it or reformatting it with the uh, starting letter as capital letter that's all here now our uh, report template is ready we will be modifying this uh, template uh, in the subsequent videos but uh, this is our initial uh, template which is capable enough to display a table of data from a titles table now we will stop here 
so just now you saw the demo of creating the rdlc reported template and placing a table control in the rdlc template file then we did some initial formatting and uh, that's also we saved the report report in the sense rdlc report template thank you for uh, watching bye